guys welcome back to my channel today i'll be showing you how to make this quick and easy garlic butter chicken to get started i have some boneless skinless chicken thighs here i already went ahead and washed it up and i'll be using this all-purpose seasoning it's called a sill and i'll tell you about it in a minute i also have some chicken broth some garlic and herb butter chopped parsley grated garlic uh, some black pepper all-purpose seasoning bouillon mushroom seasoning and some flour so the seasoning i'll be using today is a sill and it's an all-purpose seasoning it's made by lisa d if you are on youtube a lot you know who lisa d is she's in everyone's comments she supports everyone and i just wanted to support her back i will leave the link to her website as well as her channel in my description box so you guys can go over and just support her you know she she's so awesome she has a wonderful personality and i just wanted to try her seasoning this is the only seasoning i'll be using for the chicken so let's get started now the first thing you want to do is coat your chicken really well with some oil and then you want to generously add that seasoning make sure it's well seasoned and then we'll set it aside to marinate for about 30 minutes while i get my sides ready now if you can't afford this seasoning you can always use what you have in your pantry you know it doesn't have to be this but it will warm my heart if you would show my sis some support To a preheated skillet with some oil, I will now add the chicken thighs. And you wanna cook them for about three minutes per side. You don't wanna overcook these. We will add it to the sauce and cook it a little more later on. So mind how you're cooking them because you want them to remain nice and juicy. So once we add them in, we'll allow it to go for about three minutes and then we'll flip it over, let it go for another three minutes and then we will you know, carry on with that process until we're all done. Next, you wanna add a little pinch of oil to a skillet and then we'll add our butter. This is just to prevent that butter from burning. We will allow the butter to melt. Once it melts, we'll add our garlic, allow that to go for about a minute or so. And then we will go in with our flour. You wanna let the flour cook for about a minute or two, just to cook away the raw taste from the flour before we add our chicken broth. This is such a simple recipe. My husband needed a quick dinner for work and I just said, you know what, we're gonna make this. So this is what I'm doing. And we will add the chicken broth now and just allow this to thicken up. Once the chicken broth is added, you wanna go in with your seasoning, season to taste. Do not over season because the chicken broth has, you know, salt in it and you don't want this to be too salty. So we'll allow this to come up to a simmer once it thickens. We will add our chicken back in here, coat the chicken really well with that sauce, and we will allow it to go for about five minutes on medium to low heat. After five minutes, you wanna garnish with your fresh parsley. And that's it guys, our garlic butter chicken is done. It's so simple, easy, and delicious. Now I'll plate it up and show you all the finished product. Now today I did pair this up with some sweet mashed potatoes and some baby broccolini. 
and it was amazing. The sweetness from the potatoes with the savoriness from the chicken, it paired really well and we all enjoyed it. I hope you all give the recipe a try. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it and leave a comment down below. I will leave all the ingredients and measurements down in the description box and I'll see you all next time. Thank you for watching and bye.